Hi guys, if you like this video, please smash that like button. Click subscribe because that really helps us bring you more videos. And don't forget to click the bell and you'll get notified of our latest videos or otherwise you might miss them. Thanks for watching, we appreciate you. I can already hear people saying, ew, why are you talking about this? I mean, who pees in their RV shower? And then there are other people that we've seen on RV owner forums that are like, what's the big deal? I mean, the drain's right there and I'll just clean the shower when I'm done. And we're not here to judge you at all, but I'm going to tell you why you should not pee in your RV shower. There is a mineral called struvite. It's a buildup of minerals that are formed by the ammonia in our urine. And this contains magnesium and phosphorus and it gets real thick and it will cake the walls and uh, the bottoms of our tanks and it can form over our sensors and misread our sensors and it gives you less room in your tank and in severe cases can clog up your system. And we've seen that a lot in black tanks and the thing is is with black tanks most RVs have a back flush on their black tanks and you can kind of power wash it from the inside. But our gray tanks, we have worked on a lot of RVs and we have not seen any gray tanks that come with a back flush. And so you really don't have that option. If you start, if you make a habit of peeing in your shower and that struvite starts to form and become a problem for you, um, there's really not a whole lot that you can do about it. A lot of companies, yes, they come out with their products and they claim that their, um, their product works against struvite buildup, but we have not seen any in, in all the years that we've been working on RVs and that we've been full-timing in our RV and in the RV community. We have not seen one product that actually destroys struvite and can break it off of there, off the inside of your tank once it's forming. So really what you are left to do is to get um, a mobile company to come out and blast the inside of your tank and there are companies out there that do that. We actually know personally um, good mobile companies that can come out and do a good cleaning on your tanks um, that does come with a price. They do a great job um, and we've had ours done. We've paid to have ours done and that's great, um, but that might be a cost that you are not budgeting for. So um, I'm just here to tell you to give you a quick tip today that you might want to think twice before peeing in your RV shower. We are already trying to combat the problems with the gray tanks already um, with the food that gets clogged up at, at the bottom of our tanks and, um, and the soap that adds up in the shower and the lotions and this and that that we're always battling. Um, why add another element to that to get these this mineral buildup and things that you really have to work to try to rid your gray tank from if you don't have to. So that's it for today's RV quick tip. If you thought this was helpful, please hit the like button and click subscribe for more videos like this. Um, please click the bell so that you can be notified of future videos like this. And I'm sure you have comments to share. Comment below, um, do you have an experience like this? We know what we've seen, but what have you seen out there in the RV community as far as um, problems with your gray tank and black tank? I hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.